Remember that as they shape the course of history for all time, the quantity of manufactured tanks seems to have been more significant than the disappeared victims of bigotry. At first, their manufacturing was crucial to the use of weaponry. They sold more than medium tanks. However, the need for powerful tanks skyrocketed in 1943, leaving lightweight tanks well behind. Since then, fewer light tanks than medium tanks have been sold. Tanks played a role in victory for the Allies. The tank destroyer was thought to be too specialist for a peacetime force organization to warrant it. And why not when it is the hunting IFV Singapore itself? Let's explore. The tank was designed to transport missiles and machine guns through the pandemonium of no man's land while under the situation that more defense was required than could be provided by a pure infantry company. Due to financial difficulties and casualties, the tanks had an impact on a large number of people. War was heavily influenced by taxes because without money, it was impossible to buy the materials needed to produce a good. As a result, taxpayers paid very high taxes. The Hunter is a brand new armored fighting vehicle, AFV, that the Singapore Army has started using. The Hunter, the first fully digitalized platform in the Army, was created to give armored units better ability to operate more effectively and efficiently across all stages of military operations. Command Control Communications and Computing C4, systems were integrated into the new AFV. The newest AFV has a stronger hull and is built on a track chassis. It has room for a gunner, a driver, and a commander. The gunner and commander may operate the vehicle utilizing the same controls thanks to its integrated combat cockpit. It has a health and utilization monitoring system, HUMS, a fully digital platform that makes use of data analytics and algorithms to guarantee prompt repair and effective vehicle management. The drive-by-wire construction of the Hunter allows the vehicle commander to operate it as necessary rather than using rods and pistons connected to the driver's pedals. The AFV was dedicated during the 50th anniversary parade for the Singapore Army formation in June 2019. The Ultra M113 armored personnel carrier, which has been in use by the Singapore Army since the early 1970s, will be replaced by the 29.5-ton vehicle, which can transport three crew members and eight other soldiers. The Hunter has a 6.9-meter by 3.4-meter by 3.4-meter armored platform with a weight of around 29.5 tons. The vehicle is driven by a three-person crew consisting of the commander, gunner, and driver, as well as up to eight fully armed soldiers in the passenger area. The vehicle has a track chassis, an integrated combat cockpit that enables the commander and gunner to operate the hunter using a single set of controls, and drive-by-wire technology that enables the commander to take over control of the vehicle from the driver. Additionally, the commander and gunners have separate sights. Project Ulysses, so named in honor of the mythical Greek explorer, lived up to its moniker by introducing Singapore's defense research community to the brand new and unexplored field of unmanned ground vehicle technology. A drive-by-wire kit, an e-stop, and a position orientation sensor were added to the M113's hull, in addition to the cameras and external sensors. In an area where most tourists carried smartphones, the state-of-the-art M113 appeared admittedly archaic and cumbersome because it was equipped with technology from the turn of the century. People who weren't aware of the situation commented on how outdated it appeared, how the sensors couldn't withstand the stresses of combat, and other things without realizing that the test bed had been in cold storage for about 15 years. Additionally, the M113 was used by DSTA and Gentic engineers as a concept demonstrator to test and validate their theories. It was comparable to displaying a 2004 smartphone or desktop computer at a 2016 showcase. So that's all the time we have today, folks. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit that bell icon on your way out. See you all next time. Adios.